Hi everyone, my name is Jody, and I want to welcome you to my channel, Sparrow on Sabbatical. As many of you know, I'm taking a sabbatical uh, starting in March and um, hoping to end sometime in October to hike the Appalachian Trail, which is sounds a little cliche, but something that I've wanted to do for a very long time. Um, when I have hiked in New England, I've done a lot of backpacking trips and I have come upon through hikers who are hiking all the way from Georgia to Maine or Maine to Georgia. And they've inspired me. Of course, I many times will stop and ask them lots of questions and my poor husband would roll his eyes <laughs> thinking that, yeah, maybe they wanna get on their way, but um, they graciously would stop and answer my questions about through hiking and um, I've read lots of books about it and uh, just have thought about it for many years. And so now is my time to do it and I'm super excited. You might wonder why Sparrow uh, on sabbatical is my channel. Uh, some people know that uh, through hikers many times will be given a trail name. They'll be given a trail name or they have a trail name. Well, last summer when I was hiking, uh, some, doing some short backpacking trips, uh, several days long, um, I started to use Sparrow as my uh, trail name. And people really liked it. And it's sort of, I guess I wanted to stick. And um, why did I choose Sparrow? Well, as my niece and godchild will remind me uh, that uh, his eye is on the Sparrow and we know my God watches me. So Sparrow just seems like a very fitting trail name for me because um, hiking the Appalachian Trail I know is going to be challenging physically, but it's also going to be a very spiritual time for me and a time that I'm very much looking forward to being out in nature and being schedule-less and just having the rhythm of nature each day produce my schedule. That will be my schedule depending upon how many miles I'm going to hike and whether I need to stop in a trail town and get food or whether the weather is good, or whether the weather is not good. Um, but I'm also looking forward to hiking in weather that's not so good. Sometimes you just have to do that. And um, I plan to be prepared for just about anything um, along, my, along my way. So when I decided that this was my year to hike the Appalachian Trail, I came up with all sorts of whys. Why am I doing this? And I have this whole list that's on my phone that I will um, probably refer to if I'm having a day where I'm wondering, why am I doing this? Um, but I wanted to have more than just a why for me you know, having a sabbatical uh, is, is, a, is an important why. Um, but I also wanted to have a why for some kind of a charity. And I did lots of research on different charities. Who would I like to hike for? Who would I like to hike and raise money for? And I asked lots of people and people gave me wonderful advice about different charities and I researched different ones and um, they all were great. So it was a very difficult decision except when I remembered about 18 years ago I volunteered for an organization called CURE, C-U-R-E, International. And CURE International is an organization that raises money and builds hospitals for children with orthopedic impairments. Um, many of you may know or may not know that I'm a doctor of physical therapy. I've been a physical therapist for 40 years and have run my outpatient orthopedic clinic uh, for 35 years. So walking and hiking for children with these impairments really appealed to me because there's so many children right now that need their services. These hospitals are built in developing countries 
and um, there are seven hospitals now in Africa and one in the Philippines. When I volunteered, I worked in a hospital in the Dominican Republic, Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. And it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. The changes that happened to these children after they had their limbs fixed. Um, we had, our team had the pleasure of taking a bus. Um, this was while I was there and traveling about an hour outside of Santo Domingo into a very, very small village. And whoever did the advertising, advertising for this event did a great job because what we were there for was to assess and evaluate children with orthopedic impairments to determine if they were candidates um, to come to the hospital in Santo Domingo. Well, when we got there, the line was around the building and we looked at each other and said, oh my gosh. And there were children that had club foot from birth. They were five years old walking on the sides of their feet, but they never had the resources to get it fixed at birth, which is of course 100% correctable. Um, we, there was one boy really stuck out in my mind. He must have been eight years old. He walked in with a stick and his left leg was pointing forward and his right leg was pointing back. And apparently he had had a hip dislocation at birth and it was never corrected. I went over to the orthopedic surgeon and said, can we help this child? And he said, absolutely. We're gonna be able to rebuild his hip. So this child whose left foot was pointing north and right foot was pointing south was going to have a normal gait someday, which was super exciting. And our job was to evaluate them, write their name down, find a date for them for surgery, and then they would be bused back to the hospital, which was super exciting. And as a physical therapist, my job at that point once we got them to the hospital, was to teach them how to use crutches, teach them what to expect after surgery and how they can work on their range of motion and get their gait back. So it was a very, very amazing experience. So if you are moved to donate to Cure International, feel free to just hit the little donation button or the link, I guess there's a link right now on, on my channel, Sparrow on Sabbatical. And I can guarantee your money will go uh, to a fantastic cause um, because many of these children are ostracized when they're disabled. And once they are fixed and they can run around and play with the other children, they uh, do, do really well. So I am going to hike and my steps will be for these children for the children who have received services and the ones that are waiting. I am extremely grateful to my husband and my son who um, support me 100% on this endeavor. My husband plans to do some sections with me, which is super exciting. And hopefully some of my friends and family as their schedules allow We'll meet me along the trail and hopefully we can hike together or um, have a meal together or, or something. So um, that's, that's exciting to me too, to think that people are going to come and meet me along the way. My start date is gonna be in early March and I am giving myself seven months because I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> but, um, We'll see if I need it. Maybe I'll need it, maybe I won't. But uh, I'm hoping that you will check out my channel. I plan to vlog along the way, but don't worry if you don't see a video from me in a few days. It just means that I don't have a cell phone signal strong enough to upload a video. Um, 
So I don't know how often I'll post, but uh, I'll do the best I can to post some videos and some pictures because the people that I have followed uh, on their vlogging and in years past have demonstrated some beautiful videos and pictures along the way and I would love to be able to share it with you. I am also extremely grateful to my office staff who are going to work in my absence and see patients uh, while I'm gone. They are incredible people and very, very dedicated to their work and, um, and, and, and making sure the office runs smoothly. So I am so grateful for them and I wish them the very, very best while I'm hiking the trail. I'm looking forward to see what the trail can teach me. Can I help others along the way? I'm sure there's times when I'm gonna need encouragement too and how we can encourage each other. I've been very blessed to have the peace of God in my heart since I was a little girl. And I look forward to strengthening that relationship even more as I hike.